want to talk to you a minute about an experiment that you did a couple weeks ago with hydrogen peroxide and some yeast. Hopefully most of you were able to do this. Um, one of the key things that I want to point out today is uh, this statement right here. You can't get something from nothing. We're going to take hydrogen peroxide, which is right here. Uh, two molecules, that's what the two stands for. So hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, okay, which looks a lot like water with one extra oxygen atom added. Um, and we could take hydrogen peroxide, we could pour it into this beaker, and we could sit around for a week or two, and we could watch as that extra oxygen atom gradually breaks off of that molecule to give us water and oxygen gas. Um, it'd be a very boring experiment because it would look just like this for a couple of weeks, and eventually we'd have water in the glass. But we can use something called a catalyst, in this case, uh, some yeast, to uh, speed the process up a little bit. So I'm going to take a little bit of yeast, I'm going to add it to this beaker, and then we're going to add the peroxide and hopefully get a big mess. So we're getting bubbling and fizzing, which is a sign of a chemical change. What's happening is this extra oxygen atom, it's fallen off, it's combining together to make O2, which is oxygen gas, and the liquid that's left behind is going to be water. And that's pretty cool. To test and show that these are not normal air bubbles, uh, we can do the glowing splint test where we're going to take our uh, wooden stick of science and we're going to get it burning and we're going to blow it out. I can wave this around in the air and it's not going to light, but if I can put it in pure oxygen, it comes back to light. So these are not normal bubbles here, these are oxygen bubbles, which you can burn. So it's kind of fun to play with, not that you should ever play with fire. I would never <laughs> play with fire, but it's pretty cool, okay? So um, the oxygen gas didn't come from nowhere, it had to come from somewhere, and the place that it came from was right here. It um, was that one extra oxygen atom, so we ended up with H2O and O2. We get the coolest bubbles around, oxygen bubbles, it's pretty sweet press your friends. I could do this all day long, or at least until the reaction ran out. Uh -huh. Good luck.